In this section, we'll cover how to add, edit, and enhance audio in CapCut to make your videos more engaging. And when it comes to importing and adding audios to your projects, there are three ways to go about this. First one is using CapCut's built-in audio library. Second is importing your own musics and sound effect. And the last one is extracting audios from a video file. So let's dive into each one. Method one, using CapCut's built-in music library. Click on audio from the top menu. Browse through CapCut's free soundtracks and sound effects you want to use in your video. And you can also search for the song or sound effect you want in the search bar. And before you can use them, click on the download button to download it. Then drag and drop the audio onto the timeline. Method 2. Importing your own music or sound effects. First go to media. Click import, then select your audio file you want to use in your project. Then click on open and it will be added to the media panel. Then drag and drop to the timeline. Or you can just click on the plus icon to add it to the timeline. Method 3. Extracting audio from a video. Import the video file you want to use the audio into CapCut. Then add it to the timeline. Right click on the video clip on the timeline. Then select extract audio and this will separate the audio and place it on the audio track. So, you can use all these steps to add sound effects to your projects, and CapCut has a lot of sound effects you can use for free in your editing projects. Once the audio is added to the timeline, you can edit it for a better listening experience. So let me show you how you can cut, trim and split your audio. First, select the audio clip on the timeline. Use the split tool to cut the audio at any point. And if I want to delete that part, I will just press on the delete key on the keyboard to delete it. And if you want to trim your audio, just drag the ends of the audio clip to trim it. And also you can apply all the splitting and cutting techniques I showed you early, like the delete left and delete right when editing your audio. So when you select the audio clip on the timeline, then go to the attributes panel you can see there are a lot of editing attribute to use on the audio. And the first one is volume. So you can adjust the volume slider to increase or decrease the loudness of your audio. And the next is the fade in and fade out. Use fade in and fade out sliders to create a gradual increase or decrease of the volume of your audio, either at the beginning or at the end of the audio clip. So you will have other audio attributes you can apply on your audio, like the normalized loudness, which set you audios at a certain volume to suit your project. And also, if you have voiceover audios, which I will show you how to add voiceovers in a bit, you can use the enhance voice feature to enhance the voice, and also the reduce noise reduces all background noise in your voiceovers. So, talking about voiceover, CapCut allows you to record and edit voiceovers directly. So first click on the voiceover icon which looks like a microphone, so the voiceover panel will open, then you can select the microphone you will be using here. Also set the volume to the volume you want, but I will stick to the default setting. And if you have an audio file already on the project, you can mute it to avoid any destruction when recording, and also check the enhance audio, then when you are done click on this red button to start recording. After recording click here to stop and close the voiceover panel. And the voiceover will appear on a new audio track for further editing. So, you can trim your voiceover, make a split, and delete wanted parts of the voiceover. So you can edit your audios just like how I showed you to edit your videos. Pro tips for better audio editing. Use royalty-free music to avoid copyright issues like Epidemic Sound and Pixabay. Keep background music at lower volume to avoid overpowering voiceovers. Cut unnecessary pauses in voiceovers for a smoother flow. So see you in the next tutorial, where we will discuss about how to use text in CapCut.